Hello everybody, this is the uh, Gamer here, and today we have a mod review on another retro truck. It is, this is a Renault Major. So this is uh, downloaded from ETS2.lt, being overtaken by an Iveco there. Uh, and, and another Iveco. Uh, Looks like a DAF's about to go past us as well. As we drive slowly, it's not easy to drive in this in this uh, with this angle, is it? No. Um, so this is a this is a mod brought to us by Daniel Shamshura and Phoenix. Uh, and as I said, it's uh, I've got an ETS2.lt. I'm sure it's available on all the other mod websites as well. Yes. It's uh, it's it's good for a version of the game 1.26. Um, and what they've said on the website is he's they've tested 1.26. His salon, I'm not sure what that means. Their sounds, their change of sounds, they've done some tuning, uh, metallic paint job, and support coming for DLC. Yep. And we've all, we've all, really, boss, we've always got to do this here, but see what the horde sounds like. Let's see what the horde sounds like. Oh, yeah, it sounds pretty good. You, the horde sounds better than you because you've got a bit of a cold at the moment. Yes. So well, let me tell you wait, about. There's also an air horn. No, there's oh, not. That's, <laughs> that's the lights. No, them air horns up there don't work. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so the Renault R. This one it's called Renault Major, but I'll tell you why it's called Renault Major. The Renault R series was a range of heavy, heavy duty trucks built by Renault Renault v Vehicle Industriel RVI between 1980 and 1996. In 1996, they were eventually replaced by the Renault Premium. Which is of course available on. Yep, on this standard game. as a stock as a stock truck. Uh, the cabin was the Burley KB two thousand four hundred model. I'm not sure what that means. It was originally so the cab the cabin was actually originally introduced on the on, the, on its predecessor in nineteen seventy seven. Uh, and then what they did was they they merged a couple of different types of uh, truck and came up with the uh, with this cab the KB two four hundred. Or oh, incidentally, they also used this cab on the Ford Transcontinental truck, which was the Ford. Uh, they, which is their attempt to uh, to build a, a heavy duty tractor truck. Um, so the R series, it says the engine wise, it ranged from the smallest, the R280, up to the R420, so 280 horsepower up to 420 horsepower. And however, in Wikipedia, it also it kind of contradicts that a little bit. It says history of the truck, uh, originally built by Berliet, the truck became a top of the line offering in Renault's new heavy commercial vehicle line. It was sold as the R series. It offered a range of engines and models from the original R310 up to the R uh, uh, up to the R420, which is the V8 engine. Most models were inline sixes, whatever that means. Um, it says the R series overlapped the more compact, more utilitarian G series, which must be the smaller version of the truck, and it was meant for long distance journeys where driver comfort was important. Let's take a look inside it to see if there's any retroness to it. Oh, very nice. Have a little sweep around the around the cab there. It's a nice bit of road as well. This is the new Pro Mods for version 1.26 as well. We've got two bags in there with I, us. That's one for you, one for me. Okay, but there's I, only one bed. Yeah. Oh, one of us is driving, one of us is sleeping. Do you say what you do? You sleep what? in the hotel, I sleep in the truck. Oh, right, okay. It's a bit of a waste of, of time than having a truck like this, isn't it? Anyway, well, the whole point of this truck is you sleep in it and you save time. It's, it's more efficient. But if one of us is in the hotel... No, I sleep in the seat. You sleep oh, in the Oh, that's a bit uncomfortable. Anyway, um, the, high roof, the high roof model with a bonded and riveted fiberglass extension called the Turbo Liner was also sold from 1986 onwards. Look at that car. Oh, yeah. I've seen one of them before. Um, this problem was I've got the Jazzy Cat. I've got the Jazzy Cat mod on for. Um, so, so it adds that. Yeah, all different sorts of trailers and stuff. You could should be able to see driving around. And this is one of the Jazzy Cat trailers here. It looks a really yeah. cool trailer. This like two. Unfortunately, containers. you can't put the axles down. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got four, it's a four axle trailer, but you can't put that axle down. Um, the, in 1990, the R series received a facelift with a body body coloured grille. We got a body 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 coloured. Drill. Oh a body. Yes, it, we do. Grill. Okay, so this is the uh, 1990 facelift version, and a more aerodynamic appearance. Yes. In 1992, the line was renamed Renault Major, so we must be we must be uh, post 92. And as mentioned, in 96, the 
He was replaced by the premium. You listen to... Oh, look! Just talk about premium. Guess what pulls up behind me? Oh, look at that. Nice. So you can... That's like a perfect comparison. Pre take that Take that thing off there. Oh, and, yeah. And uh, let's have a look. Look at that. That's a really nice comparison of the two the two trucks. Yeah. That's very lucky. It's almost as if we planned that. Yeah. Uh, there's some stuff about engines here, but I mean, I'll quickly read it out. The That's R for was petrol most, heads. Yeah, for the petrol heads. The R was mostly equipped with Renault's 12 litre G series inline six turbo diesel, although some higher powered models, the R360, 370, 390, and 420. Oh, I just noticed something. Is that another Renault? No. With them cars, when you then they come in, they they turn off different engines. Oh, do they? As well, yeah, the headlights just shut off. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's quite cool that. Um, they had the those bigger high power models had fourteen point eight eight litre V eight engines. The smaller nine point eight litre G series engine was also available in the R three thirty and R three forty. The most powerful six was the three eight five um, of the nineteen nineties, and the eight cylinder model's body shell was actually coded KB two four eighty. That is very technical. Yes, That's very technical. Uh, anyway. That's uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go and uh, take a look at the. Um, let's go and take a look inside the dealership and see what we can see. We can add on to it. Okay. So this is what you get with a Renault. You get so you only get two cabs. You get normal roof and high roof. I love that term, retro look uh, interior there with a the really boxy yeah flat bit. top of the of the dashboard to put stuff on. Put your notepad and stuff yeah. on and your That looks list. really weird. Mm. It oh, does. You've got to put okay, that on. Okay, yeah, got to put that on. All right, what do we get? One we get one chassis. You can go from a 380 horsepower to 460 horsepower. Okay, so not really. 460 is overpowered, really. As we know, the highest you get is a 420. You can actually get a 420. No, 430. Yeah. Um, you get 12 speed or you get okay, 12 so speed Okay, so that's the modern gearboxes. Right, interior, look at that. One interior. One interior, but I love that. I love that interior look there. Oh, you want to see the paint job? Oh, right. But can you actually change the colour of this here? Yeah, oh, yeah you that's alright. That's alright. Yay. It's not too, and they added, they added metallic colour as, as this update to this particular mod. That's quite nice. I quite like that. Uh, that's not bad. I quite like that metallic colour. Okay. Strange, but nonetheless, that looks all right, doesn't it? Does it look red, white, blue? Yeah, it does. Yeah, like French tricolor. It's all Britain color. That's what okay. I meant it to be. All right. What else do we get? You also okay, get... okay. Exterior wise, not huge amounts of stuff to add on to it, but you get this, I don't which mind is that. nice looking curtains. Nice looking curtains. Okay. <laughs> then. Or you get to sleeper if you want to give a sleeper cab. And just drive blind. And just drive blind. Uh, look inside of that. See what I'm doing. It's in there. Uh, look at that. You've got the look around a bit. You've got the cloth. Yeah. You only please you can see how it's right there. Big, big, big chink of light coming in there though. That'd yeah. keep me awake. Right. Okay. Good. Take that off then. What do we get here? Twister. You get them. What's that? Like a vent? Oh, look. What the boy is that? Oh, there may be the scanners for the tolls. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Where you got three of them for? Case on brakes. Mm, maybe. Right, what we've got down here. Okay, yeah. two two lights down there. And, and you can change the fin. So you got. Is that, is that Kazakhstan, KZ? I'm not Kazakhstan, sure. I think it is. And uh, there's or Finland. Finland. Okay, we'll put Finland on. What's that? You've got one down the bottom there as well. Look. Oh, I, that there is Renault's. Okay, that's nice, yeah. Like, you also get uh, the horn. Like the horn up there. Nothing there. Paint job. Oh, Twister. Yeah. You get. Some okay, oh, a bit of decal. It looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Oh, I think it looks alright. Like decal on the side of our metallic trucky. What? Uh, no. Oh, look, we got some. No, there. No. Oh, yeah, now tell you what, no. No, I've got. There's there's tyres here. Look, that's Zill tyres. That's for another mod review we did. They're not allowed to. Have, have a look. Have, put, put the Zill tyres on it. I want to see what it looks like with the Zill tyres. No, the, the actual tyres. Yeah, yeah, I'm putting them on now. Zill. Pop. Oh, that looks alright, then, doesn't it? It's like off road. Road truck, mate. Pop. Yeah, it looks alright. Pop. Pop. Yeah, for wet weather driving. For wet weather driving. Anything on the back? Nope, Spin nothing around, on nothing the back. On, nothing. No, 
Nothing there. Here's no. my weird metallic paper. It's so a little, little, little bit limited on what you get in the, on the exterior. Interior wise? Nothing new. I, th I still think it's a lovely interior. CB up there. CB. Nothing. You, you can't add anything. No, you can. Okay, go on then. What have we got? Oh, we've got the, nav, the sat nav. Yeah, because it wouldn't have come with one of them. Dashboard. Usual. Uh, ship and a bottle. My new ship. Pi they got pirate figures as well. They got pirate bobbleheads. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, you don't get three kept. ships. Oh, we like our ships and the bottles, do we? Yeah, I like my ship and bottles. What's that there? Okay, that's all your stuff. I hang stuff up. There's nothing new. I don't think there is. There. Have no. a look. No. Oh, like my advertising on the bus. Go on, have a look. What else we get? I just stuff normal in the normal stuff. Normal stuff. Laptop, anything in the back? Nope, nothing in the back. No, all right then. Uh, anything up? No, okay. Well, why don't we go outside and uh, now you've pimped it up and see what it sounds like? See what the engine sounds like. Oh, come on. Oh, why you do this to a me game? We're going all up there, are you? All the way up to Aberdeen. Just talk among yourselves while we do this. Yeah. What are you looking for? Right, I'm trying to look for. There it is. We got two razors as well. Oh, do we? Oh, yeah, because I bought. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I bought the other one, didn't I? And I bought my amazing metallic truck. You cannot change your. You've got to finish the delivery first. Right, well, we're going to do all this and then we'll come back again. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, oh. We could just use this truck. Can't be bothered. Oh, yeah, good idea. That's a good idea. I <laughs> still wear that truck. That truck is still waiting for us, isn't he? So, we've, all we got to do now is just see what it sounds like. Yeah. So that's it stopping, engine stopping. <laughs> it, it stops pretty soon. Go inside and do it. It's, the engine stops. The actual engine starting, it, the sound cuts off too quickly, doesn't it? Do it again. Sounds like the starter just went like that there. Yeah, it, starts, it, start, it sounds a bit better on the inside, but on the outside it doesn't sound that great. What's anyway, it? still a good mod. Got a little dash down there. It's yeah, I like that. It's good. So what we got is that's, that's like really retro. You got your gears, you got your cruise control, and your temperature yeah. and stuff, and all that sort of business. It's also fun to play with and to annoy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So good mod. That is a good mod. Who is it by again? Uh, you have to it remind was a mod us. brought to us by Daniel Shamshura and Phoenix. Yeah. The Renault Major. Look for it on your favourite uh, webbing website and your modding website. We went on to ETS2 mods. ET, yeah, ETS2.lt. Um, yeah. So don't forget, we're on Twitter now, so follow us on Twitter at young, unders at young yeah, underscore gamer, gamer 101. Yeah, and to, to find out about our... Twitter account, join the live streams, join the convoys. Yeah, exactly. And that will be a goodbye from me. And a goodbye from me. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>